Ladies and gentlemen, a few days ago, I announced the return of the Lamb and Cookie Classic Tournament in Fire Pro Wrestling World. 64 men from all over the world will fight in a single elimination tournament to determine the second ever Lemon Cookie Classic winner and the next in line to challenge the LTV World Heavyweight Champion Brock Lesnar. Before we start with the draw of the first round, I would like to announce that after some reconsideration, Joe Gacy has been removed from this tournament. People like him are not welcome on this channel. So he has been replaced by Ilya Dragunov. So in this box, we have 64 names written on small pieces of paper. Let's shake, 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 and then draw the first 32 matches. I did not cheat obviously and I'm drawing the first name let's turn off the music the first name is Dustin Rhodes the second name his opponent Powerhouse Hops. Yeah, my handwriting is awful. So in the first round, we already have an AEW versus AEW matches a match, but that was likely since AEW. Um, yeah, there are 24 AEW wrestlers in the tournament field. So Dustin Rhodes against Powerhouse Hops is our first match. Um, the way, um, the, like the the number in which I or uh, the order in which I will present the matches has not been determined determined yet but this is the first match then we get yeah he just entered the tournament Ilya Dragunov representing NXT from the United Kingdom he besides Walter is the only one from NXT UK he will fight Hangman Adam Page two people who have won gold before will fight in this NXT versus AEW matchup match number three we got the phenomenal AJ Styles representing Monday Night Raw he will go up against of course he has faced many of the people in this tournament before all over the world he will fight a man from the independent scene matt cardona aj styles versus cardona i'm not sure if we have ever seen that match before so match number four we will see a big man maybe the biggest man in this tournament alessi jones a fresh face a newcomer he wants to make a name for himself representing NXT 2.0 arguably I can yeah I can think of a bigger man in this tournament Paul White is not in this tournament Mark Henry is not in this tournament he will face another big man he got the big in his name Big E Odyssey Jones versus Big E in a NXT versus Monday Night Raw matchup so these are the first four matches 28 more to go match number five we have a legend who's still active representing the rock and roll express hall of famer ricky morton maybe the old i uh, know not the oldest person in this tournament but one of the most experienced veterans in the game he's got the experience factor on his side and he will go up against oh my god you better get ready for Walter. Walter versus Ricky Morton in round one. Walter, one of the two representatives of NXT UK. So now we get to 
Oh my god, get ready for the head of the table, Roman Reigns. Of course, he wants to fight Brock Lesnar for the LTV World Heavyweight Championship. He has to win the tournament first. And in order to achieve that, he has to defeat none other than Lack Mussolini. CM Punk in the first round. These two met in the ring before many years ago in the WWE. Now CM Punk and Roman Reigns. They have changed a lot. The wrestling world has changed. And arguably the two hottest names on this in this tournament. The two biggest names in the world of wrestling that are not called Brock Lesnar will already fight in the first round Friday Night Smackdown against All Elite Wrestling. What a matchup. And now we got oh another former WWE heavyweight champion Drew McIntyre. He wants to get back into a world title picture. And what better way to do that than by winning the Lemon Cookie Classic Tournament and then the LTV World Heavyweight Championship. He beat Brock Lesnar before, so why not? Do it again. And he faces a man he faced at the 2021 Royal Rumble, Bill Goldberg. Goldberg still run. Goldberg counts as a legend. He does not count as a Monday Night Raw performer because he's not an, a regular member of their roster. McIntyre against Goldberg. Once again, he wants to make more money. He has a lot of money. He is happy, he wants to get happier. He's happy Corbin representing Friday Night Smackdown. He will not have Mad Cat Moss by his side. There are no seconds allowed in this tournament. Nobody at ringside, no managers, no valets. And he will fight arguably the biggest upcoming name in the world of professional wrestling, Braun Breaker. Don't call him Steiner. Happy Corbin against Braun Breaker. Friday Night Smackdown versus NXT 2.0. And we have more matches to come in the first round. I will pre present them individually on Lemon Cookie TV. One match per video. And now we got the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla, or Rock and Rona, if you will, Chris Jericho. And yeah, my handwriting is awful. Aw awful, my pronunciation as well. Chris Jericho, he told me he wants to reinvent himself one more time. He seems obsessed in becoming the man one more time. And in order to get there, he has to fight and defeat Seth Rollins in the first round. Don't think they have met before in the ring, only in six-man tag matches. Maybe there has been a singles match before I can remember, but I'm certainly looking forward to this. Both men will tear the house down in round one on and Cookie TV. Now we got Darby Allen. He wants to win his first ever world championship. His partner Sting is also in the tournament. Maybe they will fight each other along the road. Maybe in this tournament. He is fighting Kofi Kingston in the first round. All three members of the New Day are in this tournament. King Woods recently won the King of the Ring tournament. There are multiple former King of the Rings in this tournament. Kofi Kingston, also a former WWE champion, fights Darby Allen in round one. And then we go to the modern day Dan Severn, in my opinion. Bobby Fish. His buddy Adam Cole is also in the tournament. Bobby Fish. I call him the modern day Dan Severn, but we got the real deal. Dan Severn in this tournament. That would be a battle of the mustaches. I would be thrilled to see that. But in the first round, he faces representing MLW. I give to you Alexander Hammerstone. Alex Alexander Hammerstone is certainly a dark horse. You should not underestimate. In this tournament so and in general I just mentioned him baby Adam Cole he will fight so there's no tournament tree or so after each round there will be a completely new drawing so this this order of draws does not mean that Adam Cole and Bobby Fish will fight each other in the next round if they win Adam Cole will fight Andrade 
El Idolo. An AEW match. AEW in turn. Is this the first AEW versus AEW? No, the second one. The first one already was AEW versus AEW. So we get still got a, a lot of big names in this part. Now the third member of the New Day, King Woods. The reigning King of the Ring. Will he fight another former King of the Ring in the first round? We will see. He faces Miro. Friday Night Smackdown taking on AEW in the first round. So let's update by checking one more time. So we already drew 7, 9, 10, 13 matches. There are 19 more to be determined. So now we got Christian Cage. We put this here. Maybe he will fight his former partner Edge in the first round. But in the first round now he will fight Jay. I always when I want to show you the name always uh, keep on holding on the wrong end of the piece. Jay Lethal, an AEW matchup. Christian Cage versus Jay Lethal. What a first round two we have here. <coughs> So now we have Jacob Fatu, arguably the most dangerous man in the world of wrestling today. But there are certainly other dangerous men in this tournament. He has the bloodline, no pun intended. And in the first round he will fight Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara against Jacob Fatu. I don't want to be, I wouldn't want to be in Sammy Guevara's shoes on that given day. So, next matchup. Another one who has got the bloodline, who still has a lot of, lot to prove, a bright future ahead of him. Solo Secure from NXT 2.0, a very fresh face in the world of professional wrestling and he will fight in the first round none other than Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn still waiting for his really big his real first big world title match uh, world title victory he has to go through Solo Sikoa in round one next matchup maybe the greatest physical specimen in this tournament Bobby Lashley. He will go against. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a match. A lot of people call him the most dangerous man in the history of professional wrestling. The toughest man in the history of professional wrestling. None other than Haku. He's not the youngest anymore, but I. I'm still very afraid of that man. And he will go up against Bobby Lashley. What a matchup. What a matchup. Arguably the two most dangerous individuals already fighting each other in round one. A lot of people in this tournament are happy that at least one of them has to go home after round one. Cody Rhodes. A controversial individual here. He will not face his brother because his brother was the first name to be drawn here. Will he face another AEW superstar or will he go against one of Triple H's boys from NXT? Yeah, former NXT performer now on Monday Night Raw. Damian Priest takes on Cody Rhodes. In round one, we, I think we are past half time here still a lot of big names in this part now we got the bruiserweight former NXT UK heavyweight champion Pete Dunn he will bring his physical style to the ring against the rated R 
Superstar Edge. Pete Dunn versus Edge in round one. So now we got a lot of fresh matchups that we have never seen before. Almost every match is completely fresh and new. Now we got Finn Balor. Will he fight as the demon or as his regular self? It's not prohibited. He will go up against the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal in a Raw versus SmackDown matchup. Jinder Mahal, former WWE champion. Don't underestimate him in this tournament. But he will be all by himself as everyone else. We still have a lot of legends in this pod. So here we got Malachi Black from AEW. He will go up against Tommaso Ciampa. They have met before in an NXT ring. Malachi Black and Tommaso Ciampa in round one in the Lemon Cookie Classic Tournament. Then we got Austin Theory. He will fight. Need more space here. Need a bigger studio. Austin Theory representing Monday Night Raw now. He will go up against. Still a performer on the uh, uh, NXT 2.0 roster. LA Knight. Yeah, the newcomer Austin Theory representing Monday Night Raw. LA Knight, the veteran representing NXT. We still have a lot of veterans in the pot here. So now we see Jungle Boy representing all elite wrestling, one of the four pillows, as Jim Ross called them. The other three pillows also in this tournament. Darby Allen has already been drawn, the other two. Oh no, Sammy Guevara has also been drawn so far. He will go up against, oh my god, Brian Danielson. AEW against AEW, but what a matchup. Jungle Boy against Brian Danielson. So now, still have a few matches left. Now I got another name from AEW, Daniel, I always drop the wrong end, Daniel Garcia. Need to practice this. Need to practice drawing names out of the pot in front of the camera and holding them into the camera while not looking completely awkward. So Daniel Garcia will go one on one with former NWA World Champion Nick Aldis. So also a fresh matchup. So how many matches matchups are left? Yes, there are still a handful of names left. In the pot. Now we got a real man's man, Silas Young. He's been wrestling for Ring of Honor recently and many years. Silas Young, he wants to prove himself in round one against the sexy stroke daddy Ricky Starks from AEW. Then we got the Swiss Superman. I, as a German, have to feel a sympathy for him, but I have to remind myself of being completely neutral in this tournament. Cesaro, the Swiss cyborg, he will go and face. Oh no, I drew two names. He will go up against Jerry, the King Lawler, the King wants to prove it to everybody one more time jerry lawler against cesaro i can't wait to see this match jerry lawler could wrestle a great match against anybody still at the, in at his age he's a phenomenal legend and the second kingston eddie kingston representing AEW in round one he would love to get his hands on CM Punk again, but not in round one. In round one, he faces Jonathan 
Gresham. That's had a success. And Ring of Honor. Eddie Kingston against Jonathan Jonathan Gresham. Also, we got from England a folk pack. Is he the only Englishman in this tournament? I don't think so. So he will. No, Nick Aldis is also in the tournament. Pack goes up against the Yikon. It's Sting. The snow will fall. Pack against Sting. And another AEW matchup. And the names are getting fewer and fewer. We still have especially a lot of legends in mind. Like, for example, none other than Dwayne Johnson. Or I call him The Rock. The Rock. Who will he face in round one? Will The Rock make it to a World Heavyweight Championship one more time? He has wrestled Brock Lesnar before and he has to go in a king of the ring 1998 rematch 23 years later against dan severn this time there will be no delo brown interfering dan severn against the rock they fought each other at the king of the ring 1998 pay-per-view get your sweaty gray t-shirts out the beast wants revenge against the great one and then don't forget about him. He's very nice, but also very evil. Danhausen. Danhausen is in the Lemon Cookie Classic Tournament. And Danhausen faces one of the last names in this part. Danhausen goes up against Maxwell Jacob Friedman. MJF. And are here even two names left? Or have I dropped one? No, I think here are two. The last two. The last match. The Nature Boy. Woo! Ric Flair styling and profiling his way. He wants to become a 17-time World Heavyweight Champion. And he has to defeat the reigning NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Trevor Murdoch, in round one. So that was it. That was the admittedly unprofessional drawing of round one and i put all these names in yeah weird order on my table so i will read them out in not the right order that i've drawn them but i of course i did this video so i have proof and documentation of everything we will see in the first round now in different order than i drew them Austin Theory against LA Knight, Roman Reigns against CM Punk, Drew McIntyre against Goldberg, Happy Corbin versus Braun Breaker, Chris Jericho against Seth Rollins, Darby Allen against Kofi Kingston, Bobby Fish versus Alexander Hammerstone, Adam Cole against Andrade El Idolo, King Woods versus Miro, and Danhausen against MJF, Ric Flair against Trevor Murdoch, The Rock versus Dan Severn. Pack vs. Sting, Eddie Kingston against Jonathan Gresham, Cesaro vs. Jerry Lawler, Silas Young against Ricky Starks, uh, Daniel Garcia against Nick Aldis, Jungle Boy vs. Brian Danielson, Cody Rhodes against Damian Priest, Pete Dunne against Edge, Finn Balor against Jinder Mahal, Malachi Black vs. Tommaso Ciampa, Dustin Rhodes against Powerhouse Hobbs, Ilya Dragunov against Hangman Page, AJ Styles against Matt Cardona, Odyssey Jones against Big E, Ricky Morton versus Valta, Christian Cage against Jay Lethal, Jacob Fatu against Sammy Guevara, Solo Siko against Sami Zayn, and Bobby Lashley against Haku. I can't wait to see these matches and you will see them on LTV soon. Take care. And ladies and gentlemen, I forgot the numbers and the names drop to the floor because I'm a professional, but I still have to present to you Brian Pillman Jr. taking on 1996 Olympic gold medal winner and former world heavyweight champion Kurt Angle. That's the first round. It's going to be a deadly game. One more time.